question. Dara Flaherty heard a rumour he wants confirmed. Is it true that Club Red is actually blue inside? I can't remember. Club Red is... is um, it was Silver's in... Was it Silver? Well, Silver's in more. The first time. The Elvis Shabin. Oh, it's the night of back, the Elvis Shabin. And the second time around, because we didn't, we didn't have time to go to more, we shot it in... Um, for in the in Melba's nightclub and bar, um, neither of them were probably right inside. I don't think they just made them look right. Yeah. <laughs> well, you'd, how would you make them look? Just lights just and lights. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. So I can't remember. Karen Morin asks, "Did Geraldine split with Kevin after the threesome? And is she still with him, or is she not with him?" Uh, she's not with him. Well, yeah, no, it's, she's not with him in the in the. In the New two parter. It's kind of it's it's explained. It, we we come back four years later and we know that she was highly pissed off when the threesome happened and wasn't comfortable with it. And she split with Kevin and uh, also ended her friendship with Jennifer and hasn't seen Jennifer for four years and doesn't want to have anything to do with her. Uh, and Kevin is gone and she's still carrying a torch for him. So yeah, her heart is broken and she's never quite got over it. So she's not when we come back in in in. Um, for the two-parter, Geraldine is not in the best form. Mm -hmm. And we actually, there's a scene we put out that we might put up where Ch um, Jennifer tries to make it up to um, Geraldine, and Geraldine at the very end just says, Look, so forget about forget it. Forget about it, it's too late, fuck yeah. off, you know. And it's a deleted scene from the two-parter because we took the time to put it in, so yeah. it might be it might be up, up on the thing. Catherine Mulhair says she really missed Shaney in the two-part special and she thought she was a great character in the show. Had you planned to make the second series before his passing? And if so, what storylines might you have had in store for him? Well, unfortunately, Tom passed away in 2007, October 2007. And um, so we, we didn't st we were asked to do this two parter in January two thousand and nine this uh, this year, so it was quite a quick uh, turnaround, and so um, it was uh, we were trying to be delicate about how we deal with the fact that Tom was no longer with us, and uh, so we decided that uh, he he would go to that he would end up in Australia with Therese, and they they would give him a, a happy ending at least, so they were out there. And uh, so we didn't have any storylines planned for him because, you know, he was, we, unfortunately, he was, um, had passed away. So it was very, very sad. And um, he was a really, really great actor and a huge loss to everyone. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, and on a related note then, Owen O'Brien also wants to know how hard it was to go back to filming the last weekend without Tom's presence on set. Well, I suppose it was, um, it was tough, particularly for Gareth, I think, because um, he'd spent, in the original shoot, the two of them were in practically every, every scene together. Yeah. You know, so, so and, and you're close. in a lot of different, like when you go back to his bedroom or shooting stuff in the car or whatever, um, all those locations that he used to, that they would have been together in. You know, so it's probably toughest for, for him, maybe. Chump change questions. What makes Midlands people the way they are? For example, man in bar. What are you up to these days, Eugene? Eugene answers. Ah, bits and pieces. Just a program. Just made a program called Pure Meal for Orgy. Seems to be going okay. Man in bar. Oh, suppose you think you're great now. The big man about town. That's kind of... Well, that's... That's Irish, though, isn't it? I don't think that's particularly... Midlands. That attitude, I, which I haven't really encountered, actually. People are usually very nice about the whole thing. Uh, is, is That's an Irish attitude. <laughs> Rather than just don't blame, just pour awfully for that. That's everywhere. Uh, I think I mean, certainly awfully people. I would, I suppose are more um, less forthcoming than we some are, of our, some of our southern neighbours who would uh, be more forward. Forward about things like cock people <laughs> tell you. Awfully people are more kind of laid back and kind of you know. And that's a kind of a character. I mean, that's a car caricature, but a kind, it's kind of true in ways. I think. I mean, Neil Tobin used to do the sketch where the awfully man and won the lotto, and uh, he was just completely unexcited about. What are you doing with the money? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure he was on the. 
you know what I mean? It was that, that kind of thing. So I don't know. Um, but it's and the sense of humour is quite dry, I think, and quite dark. Mm. In Eaton Dairy, anyway, I always thought it was kind of quite vicious, but very draw. 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 You know. Yeah. And in Clara? Yeah, pretty draw. Clara. Draw. <laughs> <laughs> Dara Flaherty wants to know Is Peter the security guard really Polish? Yes. Yes. And John Ryan wants to know where did Bomber get his name? Well, Bomber was or originally called something else, and I couldn't name him that because there was someone awesome. called that, and it, and the someone who, who was called that had connections. Had <laughs> Bomber was kind of based on this character, or I got the idea for him from this guy I knew used to know. So we had to change the name, and I think. Someone just said, I think Kira, my girlfriend, came up with it, or she knew something called Bomber, or she, I think she was the one who said Bomber to me. Um, I don't know, I can't remember. But it just sounded like a good name for him, you know, that, that you know, you Bomber, you know what you're going to mm. be dealing with. Nothing uh, to do with bombs. No, it was more that he bought, he, 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 he used to bomb down the road real fast. When he bombed, he, he, he used to run, he was fast as a kid or something. Why did you not decide to have a happy ever after ending and send Jen and Scobie off to Wales together? Well, I, I, there was a lot of debate about yeah. that, but I uh, felt in the end that it was a happier ending if she went back with uh, the Tom character. Thing. She, man, I think they, we they, all just thought that they, Scobie and Jen would probably end up being kill, killing, killing each other. They'd be too, they're two alike yeah. and they'd kind of have a great time for about two months and then they'd a actually shoot each other. So, uh, and I just think that, I think it was a happy ending. I think that it was good. And Scobie needs to kind of go out and grow up and uh, get the old, you know, cut the, all the apron strings from this town and go on and make a life for himself. And I think he realises that at the end and she realises that, that she truly loves the... Yeah other boy even though he's English yeah. uh, and, um, and they'll go off and uh, but in that scene, see what happens. That final scene when she goes to um, when she goes to Scobie's house there was a moment in that that we cut out completely where she does say she will go and they make plans and then at the last minute she changes her mind. She changes her mind so the, we cut the scene cut, differently then. Yeah to get rid of her ever considering yeah that she doesn't consider it she goes look i can't go but originally it was jesus let's go let's make plans that they are actually going to <coughs> so we went to that scene up there up as well uh, and then <coughs> yeah elaine tavana asks the big question on everyone's lips why did it finish when it did and will there be another series and as paul early suggests the scoby and oz diaries perhaps great suggestion yeah. <laughs> and that would be the ideal thing to do would be go to Australia uh, for all of us and spend six months there <laughs> and make the Scobie in Australia. Well, there'd be a good story about Scobie in Australia. I'm pitching this now to <laughs> anyone who's watching. Anyone who's watching. Uh, so, but I don't think there'll be any. Well, it's not up to us. It's up to uh, RTE and um, essentially whether they want more. Uh, but I think sometimes it's good to quit when you're ahead, you know? So I think that'll be it. But uh, unless we can get someone to make the, the Scobie and Oz. Yeah, we'll go for that. Well, thank you very much. Um, those are the questions submitted. Thank you, Eugene O'Brien. Thank, thank you very much. much. Thank you.